There have been multiple arrests of suspects related to this escape. Uh, we filed charges against one defendant, Lok Ba Nguyen, for smuggling weapons into a correctional facility, sending an article useful for escape into a prison, aiding prisoners, aiding a prisoner's escape, and the personal use of a knife. And as for Ms. Nushafarin Ravaji, the ESL teacher, uh, we requested further investigation uh, of the Sheriff's Department uh, concerning her case. At this time, uh, we have insufficient evidence to charge her with any, with any crime. Um, the information was released about uh, a personal romantic relationship that uh, Hossein Niyar, that Hossein Niyari and Ms. Ravaji uh, were involved in based on some love letters. And upon further investigation, um, as it turns out, the love letters uh, that were found in Ms. Ravaji's possession appear to have been written by Hossein Nayeri and not by Ms. Ravaji. It, I understand it's pretty common uh, at the jail. If somebody uh, is, uh, does speak a foreign language uh, and, they, and they can possibly uh, uh, justify taking ESL classes, they do because uh, it gets them, out of, gets them out of the routine of sitting around in the cell. I know about the letters, okay? But again, it's, you know, it's evidence in a case that's still under investigation. Uh, they agreed, I shouldn't say agree, they decided, they being the DA's office, not to file charges today, okay? As part of the release, we agreed to uh, allow law enforcement to hang on to her passport, at least until I'm, or the DA and I agree that the investigation, if you will, is over, okay? She's not going anywhere. All right. But the good news for her is today they didn't file.